Check this out. This is a NOR circuit, N-O-R, and it works. If none are pressed, it's a one. If one is pressed, it's a zero. If the other is pressed, it's a zero. And if both are pressed, it is a zero. Here's everything you need to know about building NOR gates from scratch. Here's how this is gonna go down. If you need a background, I did a deep dive on my NOT gates video, so you can go back and reference that for transistors, Ohm's law, all that stuff. But we'll start out with a real life demo. We'll see the working NOR circuit in real life with transistors. We'll go over materials that we'll need. We'll see the truth table, which defines the behavior of the circuit in a logical sense. We'll look at the logical diagram in Logisim. Logisim lets you play with the gate interactively, which can be nice. We'll look at the circuit diagram. We're going to build an RTL or resistor transistor logic version of this circuit. We'll look at some of the alternatives built into CircuitJS that will give us ideas for other possible implementations of this circuit. And finally, we'll look at turning that CircuitJS diagram into a breadboard implementation that we can use in real life. For we get too carried away. This is page key, so I have to give my take back tech spiel. Basically, the whole world runs on tech. Think of your smartphone, everything. It's a tall stack of abstraction from the OS level all the way up to applications, browsers, all that stuff. It's very complicated. And we have big companies like Google and others maintaining that stack for us. And it's expensive for them because they hire expensive engineers and we pay them lots of money. That cost comes to us in the cost of smartphones and other things, fees, subscription services. And this is great. And it's good that these companies exist because they've innovated a ton and we have all this good technology, but can we trust them to have our best interests in mind or their profits in mind? Hmm, I don't know. We're pretty dependent on them, so it might be a good idea to have a plan in case we want to not rely on those companies as much. So if we learn more about tech, then they have less leverage over us in our daily lives. That's the whole point of Take Back Tech. Just learn, educate yourself, and take back control of the technology that runs your life. Okay, let's see a real life demo and take a closer look at this NOR circuit with transistors in real life. As I already showed, if you click either or both of the buttons, it turns off. That's the whole of the NOR circuit. And then you have your two transistors here. You have your 1K resistors and your 220, and then you have your output LED. And then just wires connecting it all together. That's it. So what sort of materials do we need to make this happen? We need two transistors of the NPM Persuasion I'm going to use two N2222, but as long as they're NPN, you're good to go. Those are right here if you need to know what they look like. They're bipolar junction transistors, so that's why they look like this. We need two one kilo ohm resistors, brown, black, red, gold are the stripes. Those are right here. You need one 220 ohm resistor, which is red, red, brown, gold. That guy's right here. We need an Arduino for the five volt and ground pins. Probably a way to do this cheaper, but it's good to have an Arduino lying around anyway. I also need a breadboard, not pictured. We need two breadboard buttons to act as our switches. Those are right here. I guess I should be switching colors. We need one LED, that's right here. We need a bunch of jumper wires and you don't have to worry about matching colors or sizes or anything. Any wires will work. And I have affiliate links in the description if you don't have these things already. And it can be good to just buy a starter kit for the Arduino, which I'll also link to, not an affiliate link, but good to have. All right, let's go through the truth table for the NOR gate. So what does it look like? When A is zero and B is zero, you get a one. That is the only case in which you get a one. It is not or. So anytime that an or outputs a one, we're going to be a zero and vice versa. It's the complement. So anytime either of them are in any way lit up, including when both are lit up down here, it's going to be a zero. So when nothing is pressed, it'll light up. Otherwise, it'll go off. Now let's look at this in Logisim. Okay, open Logisim and then go grab a NOR gate out of the gates folder. Then you can add an input bit for each input, add an output bit, and we'll connect everything together real quick. And now just click the hand tool and you can flip the bits of the inputs to see the behavior of the circuit. So only when they're both off does it output a one. Now let's open up CircuitJS and look at our circuit diagram, the simulation that we build before building the actual physical circuit to save time. Here is our CircuitJS circuit as well. You can see it functions just like it does in Logisim, but it's something that we can turn directly into a breadboard implementation, which is very nice. If you didn't see my previous video on the NAND gate, you'll notice this guy is a different resistance. You may ask why. Well, actually this particular circuit, it probably doesn't matter, but the NAND gate had different voltage outputs for multiple ones in the truth table. Obviously this is just a zero and there's only one one in the truth table. So there's really nothing to compare against. You could probably just as easily use a 1K here. So I don't know, I'll leave that up to you. I'm really not an expert on uh, how you even choose which resistance to use, but I went for that and it worked well. If you wanna import this circuit from GitHub, I will leave the code on GitHub that you can paste in here in the import from text area and that's all. 
let's look at the circuit JS built-in alternative implementations to the one that we did, RTL, TTL, TTL, CMOS, and a new one, ECL. In circuit JS, go to the circuits drop down and you'll see logic families. You can find all of the NOR implementations here. So I'll just show them real quick. Here's the RTL version that they have quite similar to ours in that it has resistors and transistors. Here's DTL or diode transistor logics. So they're using diodes in here and they have one transistor over here. Here's the TTL or transistor transistor logic version. There's nothing for NMOS for NOR. CMOS has a NOR right here. And new to me is ECL NOR slash OR. And this is crazy complicated to me. I have no idea what's going on. Interesting that it has both outputs over here. Now, how do we translate this circuit diagram into a real life breadboard implementation of this? Let's start with this path, which goes from power through the 220 resistor. You'll see we go from five volts over to this power rail so that the entire top rail is energized with positive. Same thing with the ground, which goes to this negative rail. So we can see for this piece that positive is going into this 220 resistor and coming into this row 22 here. From there, we go to the diode and to ground. That would be this wire right here. And then we have two connections. One goes to the collector of the first transistor. The other one goes to the collector of the second transistor. So that corresponds to these two wires. Here's the first one right into the collector pin. And here's the second one right into that collector pin. Now on the other side, we have these two switches. What does that look like? Well, we're going from positive into the button here. So this whole upper row gets energized. And then we go from positive to the second button right here. Those are our two switches. After the button, we go through the resistor into the transistor. So this top button goes through this resistor into the base or middle pin of the transistor. The same thing occurs over here for the second one. We come out of the output of the button, which is right here, through this resistor into the middle pin of that second transistor. And then finally, the output of both of those transistors, the emitter of both transistors goes to ground. So you can see that right here. This little red wire that goes up in the air for both of them goes back to this ground rail, which then goes all the way to that ground pin. Okay, that's it. That's all we had for this video. We saw a working NOR circuit. We reviewed the logical diagram and truth table. We created a circuit, simulated, and then we implemented that simulated circuit on a breadboard. So if you liked this video, subscribe to Take Back Tech. We're always rebuilding things from scratch and self-hosting, along with many other interesting, nifty little technical topics. So if you're into that, would love if you subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you for the next video.